You've been everywhere recently. You've been working on a new album. You're running a company, fashion design. What's kind of pushing you to go in this direction? For nine years, a lot of people probably recognize me as a performer, a musician. I'm more confident as a creator. And that's my big umbrella. You know, and everything you see underneath that is just cre creatively just making new stuff. I never want to stay in one place, so I always want to try my best to move forward to be the better version of myself as a creator. I mean, with Magic Man, you sh I feel like you showed a very clear evolution, like very clear from like previous releases. And, you know, you're working on the next one. How would you describe like pushing that evolution? I feel like when I made Magic Man album at first, it's my most honest album and it's my it's an album that I've always wanted to do. I just want this second album to be 100% me. I feel like that's the realest, purest, most authentic form of myself. How does technology help you present the most like honest and pure version of yourself in your art? I mean, definitely as a person, there is limited stuff that you can do as an individual. So I can do that by using tools that help me you know, bring out the natural beauty of my work. Capturing movements, uh, facial expressions, emotion in a way that actually feels real. How does that translate when you partner with a tech product? Well, definitely I feel like it has to be convenient, friendly, fast, uh, powerful enough to keep up, smooth beyond belief. I'm curious, like, what advice you might have for young, aspiring artists? I think I always follow my gut. Sometimes we tend to think too much, and that's why I always rely on my first instinct, my gut feeling. Focus on your path, uh, be true to yourself, trust your gut feeling, and never settle.